services. He stopped stop on the hard shoulder. He's run out of fuel. In a heart-stopping police pursuit like no other, a daring biker showcased death-defying stunts, leaving officers in awe as he fled at speeds reaching 100 miles per hour. The seat. Here it looks like he's taking a selfie. And here, he stands oh so casually on the footrests. How's this for brazen? Watch closely as the biker skillfully stands up on the seat, takes a mid-chase selfie, and casually perches on the footrests, all while speeding down the freeway. In the midst of the pursuit, he makes a vulgar hand gesture at the two motorcycle cops, seemingly taunting them as they struggle to keep pace. Very dangerous situation. They inch towards him after he pulled into a gas station outside Los Angeles and surrendered. The wild hour-long ride is over. For the biker makes an unexpected pit stop, not for evasive maneuvers, but rather to nonchalantly put on a set of earbuds, adding an unusual twist to the already bizarre chase. Despite the biker's efforts to slip away, the police catch up. The wild hour-long ride concludes when the biker pulls into a gas station. A motorcyclist took deputies on a heart-pounding chase through the picturesque San Gabriel Valley. Unsuspecting driver trying to gas up. Yeah, he just wow. jacked that guy's uh, wow. that, that fuel right there. He just took a squirt or two, and, that, and that's about it. The pursuit started as the motorcyclist, reaching double the normal speeds, eluded deputies at over 100 miles per hour. The high-speed chase unfolded on freeways and surface streets, highlighting the suspect's willingness to take risks. An unexpected pit stop happened at a gas station, where the suspect abruptly refueled and even stole gas from an unsuspecting driver. He definitely went into a parking garage right there. But it didn't take long for Pasadena police to haul out a man believed to be that suspect. You know, we didn't see where he came from, but it definitely appeared. The suspect continued the chase through Baldwin Park and Pasadena, making a daring move by ducking into a parking structure near the Paseo shopping mall. Pasadena police swiftly responded, extracting a man believed to be the suspect from the structure, leading to his arrest. A wild motorcycle pursuit unfolded in Maywood, capturing the attention of onlookers and authorities alike. ...to a motorcycle pursuit in Maywood. Yeah, this happened live on KCAL 9 News at 9 o'clock just a few minutes ago. It started at Southgate. Suspect speeding down surface streets with police right on his... The pursuit kicked off as the suspect raced down 6th Street, weaving through traffic with reckless abandon. As the pursuit reached a critical moment, the suspect, unable to maintain control, clipped a car at a busy intersection. The impact didn't deter the determined rider, as what followed would prove even more astonishing. And faster than was going on a motorcycle, it was only like 30, 40 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. Eventually, police caught up to him after he hopped the fence. He was then taken into the Determined to evade capture, the suspect made a daring move by climbing a fence, but the attempt to escape was short-lived. Police officers demonstrated their agility and efficiency as they quickly apprehended the suspect, bringing the wild motorcycle chase to an abrupt end. A motorcyclist found himself in a wild chase that ended in a dramatic crash and subsequent arrest. 23rd and Meridian, riding down the railroad tracks, extremely dangerous, of course, uh, in an effort to elude police. You'll see momentarily uh, when he comes to the intersection here. The chase began with the motorcyclist leading the police on a high-speed pursuit through the metro area. The suspect's daring attempt to evade authorities took them down the railroad tracks, showcasing the risks taken in an effort to escape justice. The dramatic crash unfolds as the suspect loses control, taking a hard fall but remarkably bouncing right back up. Yeah, he took a pretty hard fall right there but bounced right up to his feet. He runs over to a culvert there, as you can see. He runs underneath. Undeterred by the wipeout, the suspect runs over to a covert area. The adrenaline is palpable as the suspect maneuvers back and forth under the bridge. As the police cars arrive at the scene, they swiftly apprehend the suspect, bringing the wild chase to an end. A New York man faced arrest after officers stumbled upon an Instagram video capturing his attempt to escape authorities. The video begins with the dirt bike rider fleeing from pursuing police officers on the bustling streets of Hollywood. The suspect maneuvers through traffic, attempting to evade authorities while laughing. Hollywood police officers unexpectedly came across the Instagram video, offering an unplanned insight into the suspect's escape efforts. The rider's actions unfold against the backdrop of the annual event, where participants take to the streets on bikes to raise awareness. 
a high-speed police chase unfolded as RCMP pursued a daring motorcyclist through the streets of Surrey and into Guildford town centre. The chase begins as the motorcyclist speeds westbound on 108 at 140th, splitting traffic at an alarming rate. The dangerous operation unfolds and authorities attempt to bring the suspect to a halt. The pursuit takes an unexpected turn as the motorcyclist races to the upper level parking lot. The CCTV captures the intense moments as the motorcyclist navigates through inside the mall, weaving dangerously close to people. The pursuit continues as the suspect takes evasive actions, keeping officers on their toes. A daring motorcyclist took authorities on a high-speed chase. When the biker rode off the main interstate onto a dirt road. Let's see what's up ahead of him here. And that's what's up ahead. See, there's the bridge that's under construction. Let's see if he can even get... As the motorcyclist races along several freeways, the helicopter captures the rider skillfully navigating through traffic, dangerously close to vehicle doors. The pursuit takes an unexpected turn when the motorcyclist rides onto a dirt road within a construction site. The uneven ground proves challenging and the rider loses balance, bringing the chase to an abrupt end. And here comes uh, one of the officers here with guns drawn, two officers uh, from CHP. So uh, this guy really uh, kind of a, a boy, not after... With the motorcyclist lying on the ground, seemingly despondent, patrol officers arrive at the scene with guns drawn. The pursuit concludes with the dramatic arrest of the daring biker. This footage was captured on the helmet cam of the person attempting to flee from law enforcement. The pursuit doesn't relent as the suspect speeds into a residential area, maneuvering through tight corners and narrow streets. The chase takes an unexpected turn when, during a rapid change in direction, the suspect loses control of the motorcycle. In a desperate attempt to evade capture, the suspect abandons the bike and flees on foot. The suspect is swiftly taken down and apprehended by the determined police officers. Later investigations revealed that the suspect pleaded guilty to multiple offenses. This guy found himself on the wrong side of the law as he attempted to outrun the police in a high-speed chase. His reckless riding caught the attention of a passing police aircraft. He was spotted speeding, pulling wheelies, spinning his rear tire, and dangerously overtaking other vehicles. Realizing the pursuit was closing in, he attempted a desperate U-turn, mounting a pavement and colliding with officers, causing him to fall from his bike at low speed. He vaulted over a fence and dived over a hedge, attempting to escape through the grounds of a farm. Multiple individuals found themselves in custody after two separate chases unfolded on local freeways. A motorcycle rider hitting speeds, weaving in and out of traffic on local freeways. At 11, a motorcycle pursuit on local freeways. The speed's so extreme that ground units pull back and only a CHP air unit remains overhead. The motorcycle rider... The reckless rider showed no regard for traffic safety laws. A motor officer engaged in the extreme speed chase, reaching alongside the fleeing motorcycle. In a daring move, the officer gestured directly to the rider, ordering him to pull over. Pulls up right next to him, gesturing directly in his face. The pursuit now coming to a stop, and he will be placed in handcuffs. The pursuit came to a halt as the rider engaged in a verbal exchange with the officer. Despite signs of hesitance, the rider finally complied, pulling over onto the exit ramp. The pursuit concluded with the rider being placed in handcuffs after a dangerously intense motorcycle chase. A deputy found himself in the midst of a wild high-speed chase involving an armed meth trafficker. Rather than complying, he accelerated when the deputy signaled for him to stop. The officers attempted to execute a rolling roadblock to bring him to a stop. Despite a successful first attempt, he managed to evade the second roadblock, continuing his dangerous flight. Oh, 
no, 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 no. The pursuit reached its climax when, after a series of intense maneuvers, he lost control of the bike, ultimately coming to a rest on the ground in the far left lane. This footage unveils the intense moment when officers pursued a moped gang, making a desperate escape on two motorcycles. The heart-stopping pursuit started as the moped gang, using two motorcycles, raced recklessly through the highway. The chase heightened until, regrettably, one member lost balance. Seizing the chance, the others quickly ditched their bikes, regrouped on one, and continued their breakneck escape. Undeterred, the moped gang led officers on a foot pursuit through dynamic street battles. Members scattered in different directions, intensifying the chase. Amidst chaos, a suspect sought refuge in a cemetery, using his cell phone for help. However, vigilant officers swiftly located and successfully arrested him. The California Highway Patrol was hot on the tail of a daring motorcycle driver. Freeway. Hold on, he's going around the loop right now. Still pushing the bike to high speeds, the motorcycle exited onto side streets in Los Angeles County, but the driver was... The pursuit continued as the suspect merged onto a freeway, navigating through traffic at blistering speeds. Attempting to evade law enforcement, the motorcycle driver exited onto side streets in Los Angeles County suspect and knocked him off his bike. Wow, 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 just like that. Oh my goodness, <laughs> CHP was not having it before he could, he could think about anything. Despite the high speeds, the driver adhered to traffic signals, stopping at red lights. The police swiftly acted to halt the reckless motorcyclist and with the suspect dismounted, the California highway chase concluded. Five motorcyclists are now facing a disqualification court hearing after a police officer riding a powerful Honda VFR 1200F engaged in a pursuit that reached astonishing speeds of over 150 miles per hour. The police motorcycle became the unexpected force in the pursuit, catching up to the five bikers who were tearing down the road. As the police officer closed in on the speeding bikers, the unmarked motorcycle roared through the highway. In a bold move, the officer shouted and gestured, signaling the bikers to pull over. Realizing the gravity of the situation, the five motorcyclists chose to comply. The unmarked police motorcycle successfully led them to the side of the road, bringing the high-speed chase to a sudden and controlled stop. San Fernando Valley became the backdrop for a high-speed motorcycle chase that unfolded through local neighborhoods. This residential area here in Panorama City as he really twists the wrist and coming so close to so The motorcyclist continued to navigate the twisting street, deftly maneuvering through the residential area at extreme speeds. Time gonna take him down here. You saw that motor unit coming around him, trying to push him over or maybe just pull him, but he slowed down for the intersection and... As the Roscoe Boulevard chase unfolded, LAPD joined, aiming to stop the motorcycle. The determined motorcyclist slowed near an intersection where another CHP motor unit tried to apprehend. The pursuit concluded with the now captured motorcyclist, surrounded by law enforcement officers. This motorcyclist, desperate to evade law enforcement, weaved dangerously through traffic, changing lanes at high speeds and posing a serious threat to others on the road. With swift agility, the rider changed lanes, attempting to overtake a car in front of him, creating a perilous situation for both himself and fellow motorists. The pursuit took an unexpected turn when a vigilant California Highway Patrol officer on a motorcycle stopped the suspect. As the motorcyclist approached, the officer aimed their gun, marking a decisive moment Additional officers swiftly moved in, taking the suspect into custody. The arrest unfolded with precision as law enforcement officers secured and cuffed the suspect, preparing to transport him to the awaiting police car. Officers successfully brought an intense motorcycle pursuit to an end by taking decisive action. Same. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, Look at well, this. Well. All of a sudden, 
Uh, and that's not CHP. That's a. Uh, behind him. Uh, who is that? That right. looks like. Yeah, which agency? Is Belgar. This? In the streets by the Rio Hondo River, a daring motorcyclist attempted to escape pursuing police. Accelerating suddenly, the rider tried to evade capture. Unbeknownst to him, a significant number of police officers strategically positioned at the road's end brought the pursuit to an end. Oh, oh, oh just push him right. over. <laughs> okay, <And> see. <laughs> what? Oh boy. And on the ground. Yeah. Helping this person to the ground here. So they... At a critical juncture, officers executed a strategic move, forcibly dismounting the motorcyclist. This sudden action brought the pursuit to an abrupt end. This pursuit began in a construction zone, escalating into a scene that unfolded with both intensity and precision. After that motorcycle was caught going 100 miles per hour down the 105 freeway, let's go ahead and roll some tape of that chase. You can see it coming to an end right here after they finally caught up with them. The motorcyclist, however, eventually decided to pull over, bringing the high-speed pursuit to a temporary halt. The uh, CHP officers tackled the guy to the ground immediately, bringing him into custody without incident. Fortunately, nobody else hurt. As the motorcyclist came to a stop, the officers sprang into action. The video captures the moment when the officers swiftly tackled the suspect to the ground, executing a dramatic takedown that brought the pursuit to an abrupt end. A motorcyclist led authorities on a high-speed chase, pushing the limits of both speed and law enforcement's strategic decision-making. As, they think it's, as long as they feel that it's safe enough to pursue this suspect, they will do it. Even if the speed, even if the charge is just speeding, that's enough to pursue us. As the pursuit continued, it emphasized the challenges of managing high-speed chases. Resembling a cat and mouse game, it unfolded on the five freeway, presenting limited hiding spots in this gripping chase. CHP officers, and uh, fortunately we could uh, say that it looks like it's coming to a safe and peaceful resolution. Wow, just like that. The dramatic pursuit finally concluded when the motorcyclist, realizing the challenges ahead, surrendered to the officer. A London teenager embarked on a reckless journey, hitting a staggering 180 miles per hour on a motorbike. Stop, stop, on the hard shoulder, past the, past the services, just under the bridge, past the services. He stopped, stop on the hard shoulder, he's run out of fuel. The motorbike significantly slowed on the motorway as the rider attempted to escape realizing the inevitability of running out of fuel. The pursuit reached a dramatic climax when the teenager finally stopped on the hard shoulder. In a surprising twist, the teenager took an unexpected turn, going the wrong way and re-entering the service stations. The London teenager's audacious escape concluded as law enforcement surrounded the motorbike at the service stations. The 30-minute chase underscored the dangers of reckless behavior on the road and highlighted the police's dedication to ensuring public safety. In a tale of speed and misfortune, an encounter between Sandy Springs police and a motorcyclist became the shortest chase in the city's history. The video begins with a motorcyclist accelerating around a parked vehicle, attempting to evade Sandy Springs police. The rider's aim seemed to be gaining access to westbound Interstate 285, setting the stage for what promised to be a speedy escape. Zero one ten, starting the unit to Roswell and three five. Put it down, put it down. The pursuit took an unexpected turn when a seemingly innocuous tall curb became an insurmountable obstacle. The rider's attempt to navigate around it resulted in a spill, bringing both the bike and the rider down. As the rider struggled to lift the fallen bike, a uniformed officer swiftly approached, turning the scene into an unforeseen opportunity for a quick arrest. An intense police pursuit unfolded as officers chased down a motorcyclist suspected of being armed and dangerous. The rider was also believed to be wanted for assault with a deadly weapon. The has stopped, but he's going to continue on, and the officers go back into their vehicles as the motorcycles continues northbound shoot. The dramatic scene was captured from above, showing a lone motorcycle rider stopping at an intersection surrounded by a fleet of police vehicles. Despite the overwhelming police presence, the suspect had no intention of surrendering. And officers there in the, in the oh, they took him down with a taser, maybe a taser, hard to say, they're saying he fell over. We didn't get to see the shot, but he did just kind of the high-stakes pursuit eventually reached its climax when the motorcycle rider made a bold move, stopping in front of the house. The suspect, surrounded by law enforcement, faced a critical moment 
as officers prepared for the arrest. A suspicious motorcyclist found himself on the wrong side of both the law and the roadway. Yeah, he's on the pavement. He's back on the road, the A61 towards Lee. He's approaching a red ATS, stand by. As the motorcyclist sped away, Officer Julian raced to catch up. Another traffic cop joined the lead car, determined to bring the reckless rider to justice. With precision, the stinger was deployed on the pavement, aiming to disable the fleeing motorcycle. Set the one that's failed to stop. One of the gloves and all the look. Yeah, that's his motorcycle gloves. I'll recover those. The police helicopter arrived, offering crucial aerial assistance as the pursuit was monitored from above. The rider abandoned the motorcycle to evade capture. Julian, determined, directed toward the abandoned bike. Despite the rider's claims of innocence, the trace of his mobile device linked him back to the incident, connecting the dots from the helmet to the gloves. A police chase in Oregon has left one motorcyclist with more than just a road rash. The police car closed in on the motorcycle, but the rider remained oblivious to the officer's attempts to pull him over. Tension rose as the motorcycle slowed for a turn. Suddenly, the police car bumped into the back of the motorcycle, causing the rider to lose control and fall. The police officer, determined to end the pursuit, quickly exited his vehicle, brandishing a firearm. With the rider on the ground, the officer continued his aggressive approach, kicking the fallen biker in the helmet. Despite the shocking events, the motorcyclist complied with the officer's commands and was then handcuffed and arrested. An airman from Tinker Air Force Base found himself in a situation he would soon come to regret. The rider and his accomplice, seemingly oblivious to the impending consequences, continued their reckless high-speed chase, weaving through traffic with a brazen disregard for safety. The chase escalated to 183 miles per hour, but little did they know, the daring escapade was about to take a turn for the worse. So far, so good. Thank you so much. These guys decided they wanted to run from me. Yeah, that's why we have problems with motorcycles. I appreciate you checking on me. Finally, after an adrenaline-fueled chase, the rider and his accomplice were brought to a halt. The consequences of their reckless actions were about to unfold as they faced the aftermath of a high-speed pursuit they would soon regret. A notorious figure in a northern suburb found himself at the center of an intense police operation. Earlier, police allege he was spotted by their chopper speeding at 140 kilometers an hour along Waterloo Corner Road before running a red light, wearing just... The police chopper, vigilant from above, spotted him racing on a busy highway. The chase wasn't over, as the suspect, oblivious to the watchful eyes, recklessly ran a red light at an intersection, dressed only in a t-shirt and shorts. Unaware of the surveillance, he continued his daring escapade. Service. Only police say it's stolen with fake plates. Shocked, you know. Like I said, I just thought it was another job for next week. As he in a surprising turn, the suspect took his motorcycle in for service, revealing it was stolen with fake plates. As he left the shop, police swiftly closed in. In a coordinated effort, they took him down, apprehending the suspect who had been playing a dangerous game with the law. A routine traffic stop took a dangerous turn when a Coweta County man on a motorcycle refused to pull over, sparking a high-stakes chase with local deputies. Smith is being charged with reckless driving, fleeing and attempting to elude... Deputies initiated the chase, well aware of the added dangers involved in pursuing a motorcycle. As the pursuit reached Noon Lakes Road, Smith attempted to slow down for a turn, only to lose control and crash. Run for it. Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands now! Get on it! Dashcam footage captured Smith complying with the deputy's commands after the crash. As the situation became tense and Smith failed to cooperate, the deputy, concerned for Smith's well-being, opted for a less lethal approach deploying his taser to ensure a safe arrest. Witness a high-speed chase through Burbank and Hollywood as a daring suspect on a dirt bike eludes the police. Oh, and he falls over there, loses a shoe. Loses a shoe. CHP is in. A left turn on Pass Avenue. 
The suspect is weaving through city streets, even attempting a risky wheelie. The suspect is now on the sidewalks, posing a serious threat to pedestrians. The suspect lost his shoe while escaping. He takes a moment to put on his shoe, revs up the engine, and he's back on the move. Very close to oncoming traffic, and we're still going the wrong way. Southbound on La Brea Avenue, and another motorcycle driver there, and... The patrol is hot on his trail, attempting to corner the elusive rider. But this suspect is not one to be easily caught. The patrol is doing everything in their power to keep up, and the air unit is relentless in ensuring this guy doesn't escape. Here is a gripping tale of a high-speed pursuit involving a motorcyclist accused of evading authorities. RE on a black motorcycle. Ooh. You can advise if it comes back anything. I believe he's trying to take off. It all began when deputies attempted to pull over McMillan on Thursday. However, instead of stopping, McMillan accelerated, setting the stage for a daring chase through Nassau County. The suspect decelerates his motorcycle as he maneuvers ahead of the police car. Seizing the opportunity, he attempts to provoke the officers inside the vehicle by leaning back and gesturing provocatively with his hands. Swiftly accelerating, he leaves the police officers behind. In the heart of Houston, an unexpected thrill unfolded as a motorcyclist led local law enforcement on a daring chase down to Brazoria County. High above the city, aerial video surveillance captured the intense pursuit as the motorcyclist skillfully navigated the streets. Suddenly, the suspect made a daring turn into a quiet residential area, seeking refuge among the suburban landscape. Desperate to evade capture, the suspect found cover under the canopy of trees, attempting to conceal his motorcycle from the watchful eyes of law enforcement. Despite the suspect's efforts to elude capture, the Houston police displayed remarkable teamwork.